Hi everyone, Mo here and today I have a birthday card tutorial for you using the Noteworthy prints, Noteworthy stamps, pierced circles dies and stripe pattern die. So let's get started. I'm going to use black cardstock as my card base. This is going to be a five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches card. I'm going to give it a crisp fold using the crease tool. And I have cut my pierced circles out of noteworthy prints. I'm going to use those. This, this is the biggest pierced circle and this is the smallest. I cut the medium out of a green piece of cardstock and I'm going to use that. I did the stripe pattern out of blue cardstock and I'm going to start assembling the card at this point. Now this is a very big circle. If I put it here then it just takes over everything else. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do move it around and make one circle go the distance for me. Just going to mark it here. Um, just so I know where to put my adhesive. I'm going to turn that over and cut off the excess. Then come over here. I'm just trying to see the distribution. Okay, mm, let's do part of it here. that again cut off the excess at this point I'm gonna bring this one in and because this is small I'm just gonna put it over here Now this gives me a very interesting and contrasting background. I'm going to mute that much contrast, that high contrast down a little bit with the blue. I'm going to use the I'm going to use the Jarney Glaze to attach this die cut because it's so delicate and doesn't have that much white space for the tape runner. The glaze is very helpful. Be careful not to squeeze out too too much because then it's going to just ooze out from the sides and that doesn't look pretty. Now 
Next, I'm going to prepare a place, a spot for adding my sentiment. I think this could be stamped my sentiment. Happy birthday. Using the Berry Black True Color Fusion Ink Pad. I can add this as a block or cut around and just place it in the center. I think that's what I'm going to do. But first of all, I'm going to give it a little dimension. So I'm using the Journey Home Squares and there. So I think I'm going to just cut around it doesn't have to be super fussy but just following the edges Well, I think it needs something more. So what I'm going to do is die cut another one of the smaller pierced circles and put it underneath. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back and this is what I'm talking about. I might not put it in the dead center. I'll put it a little bit on the side and then go like this. I think that makes it most interesting. I'm gonna put that here and again raise the sentiment a little bit using the foam squares. And there. Happy birthday. Thank you for watching.